Welcome to the definition stage of the exercise. Now that you have completed the interviews with your partners and gathered your key findings, it's time to hone in on the problem spaces you might want to solve. We'll show you how to work in groups to find themes and insights and write some how might we statements. This section will take about 50 minutes to complete. Before we begin, please have these worksheets from the toolkit printed and ready to use for the definition exercises. You'll also need some post-its, markers, a timer and some empty wall space. You'll be working in small groups of at least two members and no more than five. We'll now run an activity to help you consolidate your findings and abstract them into themes. By working as a team, we make sure to include everyone's views and perspectives. Looking back at the original list of New Year's resolutions, organise yourselves into groups for each one. The group should be based on the topic of the person you interviewed and not your personal resolution. Find a large and empty wall space to work on. When you're standing with your group at the wall, have all members put their findings, post-its, on the wall. In your groups, start to cluster your findings based on the similarities. For example, if your group's topic is exercise more, you might have a bunch of findings around the social aspect of exercise as motivators. Cluster these post-its together. This is how these clusters and themes could look. After you have created a few clusters, write a short theme for each. So in our exercise more example, one cluster could be called exercising socially. You might need to split the large themes into smaller ones so that each can be more specific and give your teams options on which problems you want to solve later. This is very important for the next activity when we start to think about solutions for each theme. You have 15 minutes for this activity. You can now pause this video and resume it after you've completed the activity. Now you should have a few clusters of post-its, each with a theme name. Next we want to give each theme an insight statement. Essentially, you look at each theme and its post-its and write a short sentence that summarises, as best you can, the overall idea in that theme. You can think of the statement as a very short story. We'll be using these insight statements as framing devices for finding solutions. Here are some examples of insight statements. So how will you know if your insight statement is well crafted? When you read a good insight statement, it should give you an idea of the user's behaviour and their context and it should get you thinking or imagining possible solutions. So working as a group, write your insight statement on another post-it and place them with their associated themes. You have 15 minutes for this activity. You can now pause this video and resume it after you've completed the activity. You should now have insight statements for most, if not all, of your group themes. Next up is how might we statements. These are short sentences that we use to start brainstorming solutions. These statements encourage people to find solutions instead of focusing on what might be wrong. They should be narrow enough to let you know where to start your brainstorm, but broad enough to give you room to explore creative ideas. Here is how an insight statement is translated into how might we statements. See how each statement plants the seed of an idea. In the second statement, it's about helping people to discover new recipes. Similar to insight statements, good how might we statements automatically inspire you to think of possible solutions. Each person should now have in front of them the how might we worksheet from the toolkit. Working individually, take an insight statement and try to write some how might we statements yourself using the template provided. You have 15 minutes for this activity. You can now pause this video and resume it after you've completed the activity. In the previous activity, you each wrote a few how might we statements. 
The last activity that we'll do together is called Six Ideas in Three Minutes. This activity is usually part of the design stage, but in this video, we'll use it to end our definition stage. Up to this point, we've been focusing on defining our problem. Now we want you to think big to create multiple possible solutions. You should now have the six ideas in three minutes worksheet in front of you. As a group, decide on a how might we statement to work with. You should choose a statement that everyone in your group gets excited about. Now, working individually, write down six possible solutions for that statement in three minutes. The goal of this exercise is to help you get past the first few obvious ideas to get to more interesting and innovative solutions. You have three minutes for this activity, after which the hands-on portion of the workshop is complete. Continue to the next video to learn how you can create prototypes from your ideas.